Okay, so I'm just outside the Tolworth Driving Test Centre. Um, what I'm going to do firstly, I'm just going to park up in the car park, so, and then I'll I'll start from there. So what I'll do is I'll just reverse in. So what I'm planning to do is just have a drive around the Tolworth Test Centre area and go over some of the roundabouts and the uh, junctions that you could get ones that are quite tricky now when you start in the when you start your test here you'll be in the test center you'll be parked here like this so you come out do your right side test answer the safety question get into the vehicle so when you're asked to drive on um, You'll either go left or right, obviously, but one thing you should be careful of is before you go, you're kind of emerging twice. So you've got the pavement, so you look up and down the pavement to make sure it's safe. Then you pull forward to the edge of the pavement, and then I would pause here again, have another look up and down, and then go. Don't just drive straight out onto the road. Um, Okay, so I'm driving down Ellerton Road. This is quite near the test centre. Um, when you come out of the test centre, you go right, right again, and it will be around there. Now, when you're driving, just generally, you'll just be asked to follow the road whichever way it takes you. What that means is that if there are one-way systems, you need to just follow the one-way systems. They're not going to give you directions. So, down here, if you look well ahead, you can see no entry signs and the road markings will have a left arrow. So what you need to do here is the examiner won't say anything, just follow the road round to the left. Now the mistake a lot of people make is they try and go ahead and obviously ahead is no entry. What happened is you'll just be stopped and then told that, look, it's no entry. So just be careful because that's quite near the test centre. As soon as you come out, you'll be going there. Okay, so I'm on Yule Road, approaching the Tolworth Tower roundabout. This is a large multi-lane roundabout. Now, we're going to go right and take the third exit. So I'm going to position over on the right lane in good time. Now, it'll be marked Portsmouth Guildford, and when you get closer, it's actually marked Heathrow. Now, with this roundabout, I've sat in on a few tests where the examiner has actually advised the pupil to position in the middle lane. Okay, so they might say you'll find it easier if you use the centre lane. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the centre lane. Now, if you look at the road markings, both of the arrows are, are head arrows. So there isn't actually a right arrow. I'm just going to hold back from the bus here. Now, what happened is that they resurfaced the road and then they put in these markings. A bit later on, what it is, the inside marking is a right arrow and the centre lane is marked head and right. So I think personally, both of these lanes should be marked the same way. So the right lane should be marked as a right only, and the center one should be marked as a head and right. Now again, whenever you have options, always preference the first lane on the left. So I'm in the middle lane, turning right. Now if you look at the road markings now, you can see the center lane is marked a head and right. So what I would do on this approach is I would have a check on my right mirror, just so I know what's there and I would position over in this lane, which is the same lane. So now I'm checking my left mirror. My left lane is clear, so I'm drifting into that left side. And again, I'm exiting the roundabout on the left side now. Okay, so I've entered on the right, and I'm exiting over on the left. So this is a slip lane or an acceleration lane, whatever you want to call it. The idea here is to get your speed up so you match the speed of the traffic on the uh, main carriageway. So I'm on the uh, Kingston Bypass. I'm going to take the exit onto the Hook Roundabout. Now I'm in the left lane and if you can see the road markings uh, changed. So this lane is going to be exiting. So it's not necessary to be uh, doing a left signal. It's not a big deal if you do do one. Now on the Hook Roundabout we're going to turn right and take the third exit. So you would keep your position 
in this lane um, because the left will become a left only. So we're following signs for Kingston, Surbiton. So same routine, mirror, signal, start getting your speed down. Now this roundabout, it's not tricky or confusing but it is quite busy. So you need to be really careful, it's an uncontrolled roundabout. Just keep checking and try and see a gap approaching so that you can start moving before the gap gets to you. Okay, so I'm on the inside going past the first exit. Second exit is closed anyway. Left signal, check my left side. Left side looks clear, I've checked again. I'm drifting over to the left side to exit. So I'm on Kingston Hall Road. Um, the Theory Centre is just actually on the right. Just so you know where I am, you've got Kingston College up on the right as well. So I'm coming up to a mini roundabout. It's a multi-lane one. I'll be turning right, following signs for Surbiton Tolworth. Now, there's road markings and the left lane is uh, coned off anyway. But if you were gonna go right, you would use the middle lane because the middle lane also goes right. So whenever there's multi lanes, always preference the first available lane on the left. Now, there's some traffic approaching, so I'm just gonna wait till there's a safe gap. Now, when you go on to the roundabout, be careful to maintain your position all the way around. I've got a vehicle right next to me on my right, so I'm keeping right on that left side, and I'm exiting over on the left lane. So I'm on Kingston Road, I'm going to be turning right at the next junction, so I'm going to move into the right lane in good time. I'm going to be following signs for Worcester Park. Now if you look well ahead you'll see the first part of the right turn is a no entry, you can see it on the sign as well, the first part is no entry. Move into the right filter lane to turn right, we've still got a green light to go ahead but this part just here is no entry, so you have to go here and turn. So just be careful not to turn too early. Um, you'll obviously get stopped if an examiner's in the car. And then just keep your position on the left side. Okay, so I'm on uh, Molden Road, coming up to the Molden Junction roundabout. This is a large multi-lane roundabout. We're gonna go straight on second exit for New Molden Kingston. So left or straight, use the left lane. Now, there's signs there saying that the left lane is a left only, but that's once you've got onto the roundabout. So once you're on the roundabout, then position in the middle one because the left is a left only. Okay, and this will keep you on the left side. So again, you can do your exit signal, and here's your exit, which is then the second exit. Coming back up towards the Molden Junction again, um, I'm going to be turning right the third exit. It's marked Portsmouth Guildford. So again, turning right, positioning in the right lane. Now, I think they've recently redone the road markings. Otherwise, once you get onto the roundabout, it's, the road markings will say A3 Guildford. Um, that's not on there anymore. So what you do, once you're on the roundabout, you need to position on the inside lane here and then as you go around keep your position in the center in the center lane so this exit second exit is Worcester Park we want the one after so our exit is now approaching Portsmouth Guildford so slip lane pick up your speed so you can match the speed of the vehicles on the main carriageway Okay, so I'm on the A3 driving towards Portsmouth, Guildford. I'm going to take the exit here, uh, which will take me back onto the Tolworth Tower roundabout. Now, on the Tolworth Tower roundabout, again, if you're going left or straight, it's the left lane. If you're going right, we're going to position in the right lane. 
So usually for most approaches, the center lane is the best lane to use to turn right. And I have sat in again on a few tests where the pupil has been advised or suggested to use the center lane. Now on this occasion, I'm gonna use the right lane just to, so you can see what, what it's like going from the right lane. Now if you're in the right lane, it means you have to change lanes at least once. If you can change twice, it's even better. So look, I can advance, so I'm positioning on the inside lane. There's a vehicle next to me, so I can't move over, but what I'm doing is I'm continuously scanning my left mirror. Now my left mirror is clear at the moment, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move gently over into the center lane. My left side is still clear, so I'm just gonna move over one more lane. Now if the left side wasn't clear there, I can just stay in the center, that's fine, because you can still exit in the center lane. But ideally, you wanna try and move over into the left lane if it's safe to do so. When you exit here, look well ahead. Can you see there's parked vehicles? And usually there always is, so you then can move over in good time, um, so you don't cause yourself a problem here. Now, just a quick note, on the Toll of Tower roundabout, there's been a few occasions where a pupil has entered on the inside lane and he's not been able to move over. I mean, there's quite a lot going on, there's multi-lanes. It's difficult to kind of judge if there's someone close to you or not. Now, if you do get into a situation where you're not, you're not sure, let's say you're not sure if it's safe for you to move over, it's perfectly fine just to go right round the roundabout again. And it has happened a few times. So if you're on the inside and you need to move over, you've checked your left mirror and it looks like there's a vehicle there and you can't move over, not a big deal, just go around the roundabout again. It's better to go the wrong way and do the safe thing than to try and push yourself in. Okay, I'm driving on Portsmouth Road, coming up to this narrow uh, bridge. Now, you can't sit here and wait for a large vehicle to come the other way, but what it is, if there is a large vehicle, the vehicle has to position in the center, so you need to hold back here. If there is no large vehicles, then what you do is you just maintain your normal position here. So you can see the road markings, how there's like a, another lane in the center. So just be aware, if you're coming up to that bridge and there's a large vehicle approaching the other side, be prepared to hold back. Okay, I'm coming up to the Silly R's roundabout. I'm on Portsmouth Road. I'm gonna go straight on second exit. Now this roundabout, this it's like two roundabouts that are joined together. So you can briefly see on the sign. But I'm going straight on following signs for Isha. Now what you need to do, um, I'm gonna position on the left here, slow right down. Now what you need to be aware of on this roundabout is the second roundabout is almost immediate. So I'm checking my right side for a safe gap. It's safe now. I'm on the roundabout, can you see the second roundabout is right here. There you go, and it's clear to keep going. So sometimes what happens on that roundabout is people just see that it's clear and they just go straight and they're not aware that the second roundabout is approaching really quick. So just be careful on that. Look out for the road markings um, so you don't just go straight out. Okay, so I'm back on the Portsmouth Road. I'm coming back up to the Silly Isles roundabout. Um, I'm gonna be turning right uh, this time. So it's following London Sutton. Now, you can see ahead it splits into three lanes. The right lane and the center lane do both go right. So always position it in the furthest lane on the left, which will be the center lane. Okay. So the, it's quite a busy roundabout. Um, wait for a safe gap. Safe gap approaching. So I'm maintaining my position here on this lane, keeping right over on the left side now. Exit signal, and this is my exit. So I'm just checking my right mirror, give the cyclist lots of space. And uh, on the Kingston Bypass now. Okay, so I'm on the Kingston Bypass on the slip road to join the A3. Now the speed limit here is 50, uh, the dual carriageway I'm going to join the A3 uh, vehicles will be going 50 there. So when I'm on a slip lane the idea is to pick your speed up so you match the speed of the traffic that you're joining and just keep checking, you don't even need to steer, just 
just keep checking, just very slight steering and just let the car gently merge onto the dual carriageway. Okay, so I'm on the A3 now, I'm going to take the exit um, for the Tollworth Tower roundabout again. Now the exit's not for a little while, but what I just wanted to point out here was um, you're going to have a warning sign here to let you know that there's traffic joining. However, the traffic doesn't actually join, it just forms its own lane and stays as a lane. So as I approach, you can see the warning sign, you can see there's vehicles on the left. Now currently we're driving in the centre lane, so what you need to try and do is, when it's safe, to move into the left lane. Now just on the left here there's a road. So what it is, there's a lot of people that actually turn into that road and move out of that road. So don't move over to the left too early. Wait till you've made some progress and then move over. Because what might happen if you do move over too early, you might have a vehicle in front slowing right down to take that turning. So it's happened a few times where people have had to slow right down to about 20 because someone needs to take that turn. So the Tollworth Junction is uh, approaching. I'm going to take the exit. So what you'll have is you'll have some countdown markers. So you can see there's the 300 yard one. When you go past the 300 yard marker, just check your mirrors. When you go past the 200 yard mark, just apply the signal. Now as long as the traffic is flowing, um, maintain your speed. Wait till you've actually turned off um, the dual carriageway. So I'm turning off. Now I can now I can start thinking about slowing down. So park vehicles on the left, just be careful. Uh, look well ahead as far as you can see so you can spot things like that. 